Welcome to the Informatica Cloud, the industry's first enterprise data integration platform as a service. Today, we're going to talk about taking B2B XML files and syncing them up with Salesforce.com. Our specific example today will be taking a XML file to represent some kind of company from our B2B partner that we want to do business with and import it into counts in Salesforce.com. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's our Salesforce.com. Of course, uh, we went ahead and emptied it out for you so there's no data in there so we can see our new record show up. Here's our XML file. And of course, uh, we have one customer in here called uh, MWorks that is located in Chevilly LaRue, Texas. So I made this address up, um, but at least we can save some data moves, so that'll be exciting. All right, so uh, let's go right into the Informatica Cloud and let's put this thing together and watch it in action. So uh, when we log into Informatica Cloud, First thing we'll do is make a new data synchronization task because we're going to synchronize data. Um, and step one is simply giving it a name. And that was pretty easy. We want to pick the operation of upsert, which means we want to update data that's already there um, to prevent duplicates. Um, and we want to insert data that's not. Uh, now, once we've defined the name of our iteration task, now we're going to define uh, the source. So where's the data coming from? So we can go ahead and pick, uh, we want to get our data from these, these files that I have. And I have a specific um, XML file that I want to use. All right, and then uh, that's really all I have to do is uh, define how it's limited. Um, let's go on to step number three where we pick our target. So remember we're grabbing data from that XML file and we're going to put it into Salesforce. So we just pick Salesforce from the list. And these connections are pretty easy to set up. Uh, you know, Salesforce, for example, is just a matter of typing in username and password um, and then hitting OK. So once we've picked uh, Salesforce, we have a list of everything in the sales cloud. So accounts, uh, where we want to put this company information in the Salesforce. But we also have things like custom objects that you can build um, and all the different things in the sales cloud. Like there's some uh, campaigns and contracts and contacts and opportunities and products and price books and tasks and on and on. And of course you can relate objects together um, with just this one button. So right, right, right now what we've done so far, we're halfway through our wizard. We've defined what this is. We've defined it's coming from our XML file. It's going into Salesforce. Um, a data filter is where we could define uh, only certain data that we want to come and bring over from our XML file. But in this case we want it all. Uh, so we can define next step our field mapping and this is pretty cool because what we want to do is we want to add this custom function um, that helps us decode our XML right so mine's called uh, SVXML and I want to simply drag it over to the input and now we've defined here we're grabbing that XML file and we want to map it over to Salesforce accounts so here's what we're looking at on the next screen is the custom functions on the left, so this is the output of what that XML looks like. And on the right is the Salesforce accounts that we want to put it into. All right, so uh, it's just now a matter of drag and drop. We can take our ID um, and match it over. And this provides that cross-reference between systems. Um, other things that we can do um, as far as mapping is we have things like a zip code. Uh, we can grab over. There's my fax number. All right, state. So things aren't always one-to-one, -one, so you got to kind of figure out based on what they're called. It might be a little bit different, um, but really the exercise is pretty nice because you can just simply drag and drop to match up these different fields together and produce that seamless integration between these two systems. Let's see, here's my city. And what am I missing? There's my postal code, stay out my street. I think I saw a street down here. There you go. So this is all we need to do to match up, oh, name is very important, let me get the name, to match up uh, these two systems together. All right, and that's it. Uh, I've defined my mapping. Um, now I can go right on to my next step, which is schedule. I can set a schedule to, for this thing to run every day. Uh, maybe it depends on how fast my B2B partner um, sends it to me. Um, I could do it every couple minutes, which I, I might not want to do because uh, I doubt the partner sending me new stuff that fast. Um, or I could do stuff, you know, monthly or weekly. Or I could define a grouping of things to happen on a single schedule. That's called task flow, but that's a different topic. All right, so let's go ahead and save this guy and let's run him. So I call him B2B XML into Salesforce, and let's go ahead and run this guy. And now this is kind of neat because this activity monitor screen shows us what's happening. So if I have lots of jobs running all at the same time, 
um, I can see how many records are actually being integrated per job um, as that's happening. Now I can also come over here to the activity log um, and this is where I'll see what actually happened. There's my one row. All right, now we're gonna click over the activity row. I see that I have one success. I can go back into Salesforce. All right, I can refresh my page. And now I can see my Mworks account there that I uh, brought over from the XML file on the Shabili LaRue, Texas, uh, <laughs> on uh, Rue 21 lane. And then of course my address and phone number and whatever else I wanted to map over. And that's it for our XML into Salesforce.com demonstration. Thank you very much for your time.